when I put my number on Twitter and say, hey, everybody shoot me a text, there were 35,000 people that texted in. The first response that everyone got, and whether you're texting, with, you know, you texting me for the first time, or you see any of these other celebs. I mean, they're now six, seven years later, everybody finally caught on. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Visionary. But the, fir- the first response is, it needs to be automated, right? And so for you to be able to to manage the scale, and that first response is always, "Thanks for texting. I would love to know who you are." So please, you know, put your information in my phone, right? Because I'm not going to type everybody's information. Yeah. Yeah. So here's a form you can you can actually put your information in my phone, so I know who's even texting me. At that point, th- the difference I would say between my 2013 campaign and the campaigns that I'm seeing now is that there was a very specific intent captured at the initiation of the conversation. So I didn't just say, hey, here's my number, shoot me a text, what's up? I said, look, shoot me a text to get my new album. So they shot me a text. I already know the reason they're texting is to get they my want, new they album. Want the product. What's your information? Once I have the information, here's a link to get the album. Once that intent is captured, then you have an incredibly high conversion rate. So one out of every two, about 17,000 people actually bought that record. They bought it for $10. That's 170000 right? The difference, though, is that I now have a Rolodex, a record, a ledger of every single person that's willing to actually spend money with me directly. So now, not only do I have names, not only do I have emails, not only do I have telephone numbers, I have city and state and country information. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going on tour. got the real goal. You're going on tour, people go to concerts because it is a social experience. So yeah, you might go to the concert if none of your friends want to go, you still figure out a way you go by yourself, but you're still in a room with a bunch of people. You guys are connected by the fact that you appreciate the artist that's on stage. For me, in that situation, even though only 17,000 people in my phone actually bought my record, they all brought a friend or two or three or five to the concerts when I announced them. We sold 40,000 tickets, 60 euros a ticket. You could do the math That's there. like five albums right there. <laughs> right. Voila. <laughs> you know? And so it's really just, and like I said, it, it, you know, there's obviously ancillary income that happens from that. There's publishing Merch, revenue stuff. and yeah. merchandise, et cetera. For me, you know, I, I, I really prefer digital goods um, because, you know, there's a cost of goods, you know, when you have merchandise mm-hmm. and there's a cost of inventory, there's a cost of shipping. And so digital goods for me have always been my preference uh, just because they have unlimited scale and uh, as long as you're delivering value, hopefully your content is going to be evergreen. And so that's why I always, I always um, remind an artist that even though you may feel like your music is, is outdated to you, it's actually brand new for the person who's hearing it for the first time. And the reality is that even if you went platinum, there is still a large number of people around the world who have yet to have even heard your record <laughs> yeah. one time. <laughs> so you have the ability uh, in music, which is always why I say, look, just create the best music you possibly can because great music is evergreen, you know? I be giving y'all niggas so much knowledge, man. I'm about to start charging y'all for real. The moment Instagram allows us to charge like a monthly fee, like a membership fee, y'all niggas getting taxed. You better take in all this free info while you can. Don't say you wasn't warned. My ducks, my swans, welcome to the pond. My name is Dorian from group82music.com. Right here, we got artist and producer Ryan Leslie saying how he made $2 million off an album that only sold 17,000 copies. Ryan Leslie's an independent artist. Ryan Leslie's a producer. He's worked with Jay-Z, he's worked with Kanye, he's worked with Beyonce, got his own music. He's done a lot of stuff for a long time. And he's been independent, smart dude, went to Harvard. Really go research about him, man. He's done a lot of really, really good stuff. I listen to a lot of his interviews and they're dope. Right here, we're gonna shout out Earn Your Leisure. Y'all know besides 82 Points of View with Dorian, Earn Your Leisure is my favorite podcast out. Shout out to Troy, shout out to Rashad. They did an outstanding job here. I've listened to this whole episode. Go listen and lock in to Earn Your Leisure as well. Now, how do you make $2 million? Well, first of all, he created a funnel. 
Ryan Leslie had fame, right? Which most of us don't. So he leveraged that fame, that attention into making sure that his fans who really rocked with him, they rocked with him. And so before everybody was doing all this texting stuff, he already had an automated text message system. He wanted to get the most actively engaged fans because those are the people who are going to rock with you and who are going to buy from you. Because Instagram doesn't send you to everybody who follows you. They don't send your post to every, I'm sorry. He did a, he did a call. Yeah, I and I'm not saying these are fake people. I'm just saying the ones that just follow you for vain, for vanity. Ugh. I'm not saying these are fake people. No. So I'm gonna do a call to action. Text me at this number. Once that actually did that, now there's an intent behind it. You know that you said, hey, text me at this number to get my album. So there, oh, shit. You know if you said, hey, text me at this number to get my album, now I'm sweating and shit. Turned into dog shit. Like fucking like that that Denzel meme. Where he's like throws his pencil down. <laughs> he went to his audience. He made them take an additional step. He took that audience from cold to warm to hot. Because now if they click the link, that means they want to buy the album. And that's how he made money. In addition to that, now he can see where all these people are. And he was able to map out a tour. And then he's getting t-shirts, getting publishing in royalty and all these things. What can you learn from all this? Too many of y'all be trying to sell shit to cold audiences. Quit putting in my comment section, hey man, I'm dope, click this. I don't know who the fuck you are. I don't wanna click that. I don't wanna waste my time. But if you start giving people value consistently, now that audience goes from cold to warm. So if you've been coming to my page consistently, you've been writing comments, You've been sharing my shit. And then you say, hey, listen to my new song. I'm more likely to click on that shit because it's a warm audience. Y'all be trying to fucking ram up inside motherfuckers with no lube. That was just so inappropriate. Y'all be trying to just fucking ram up inside motherfuckers with no moisturization. Moisturization. Is that even a word? <laughs> like, don't do that, man. God damn. Get some foreplay. Kiss her neck. Massage her fucking palms, nigga. And then try to work your way in there. Quit just taking shit. You gotta have a cold audience, a warm audience, and a hot audience. And that's exactly what Ryan Leslie did right here. You can learn from this. Go listen to that entire Earn Your Leisure episode and look at everything that I'm doing with this. True support campaign. Now, am I just telling y'all just buy my album? No, I'm asking you to spend $9.99 to get a $249 value with the permanent Spotify players placement. That's why that shit works. This is how you sell now. You can't just go up to motherfuckers, ask them to buy some shit. They ain't gonna do that. You gotta make sure you warm up the audience first. So go click the link in the bio, buy my album. If you need more help with this, go over to group82media.com and download our free ebook over there and I'll break all this stuff down even further. I'm out the pod. Y'all stay true.